So, Ricardo, what impacts have you noticed climate-wise in the vineyard, and what have you been doing to sort of counter those, or have they had any impact on style or anything like that? Well, I mean, the, the impact uh, over the past few years is uh, it's quite noticeable. As a matter of fact, summers are warmer, and phenomena that before used to be uh, extraordinary now are becoming uh, really ordinary. Every year we have uh, hailstorms, uh, uh, water bombs, uh, so the change uh, is uh, happening. And you know, Nick, in our area we are very good in uh, partially drying the grapes. You know, Amarone is our ambassador wine and is made with partially dried grapes. And in the 90s and in, in the 2000s, uh, we as a system, we use that technique uh, also for the other wines uh, of our area. See the Ripasso, indirectly, see other, other Valpolicella, but now, I mean, it's uh, not a secret that we don't need it as we used to need it before. You know, before we needed a little drying process to get uh, to the right ripeness. So today, with this climate change, uh, uh, this uh, partially drying process is uh, definitely much less uh, needed. Uh, it's also true on the other side of the coin that uh, very important markets for us, like Scandinavia or North America, are getting more and more educated and are looking forward to having uh, uh, leaner and more agile wines. So, you know, these two things together collide. Uh, but it's indeed uh, a fact that the climate change uh, changed also the style of, uh, of our wines.